Hi Jenny. Sorry if I look a little bit funny. I've not got my glasses on. So I've, I've been for a walk in the sunshine and I had my sunglasses on instead. <coughs> so I put my contact lenses in. Right, let me tell you what we're going to do today. We're going to have a look at some sentences. I'm going to write some sentences. They're going to have a missing word in. I'm going to write three words underneath and I'd like you to choose which of the words you think is missing from the sentence and then you can write the sentence with the missing word in. Okay? Love it if you could do that. Then we're going to have a look at spelling some of our months of the year. They're very tricky spellings but I think you are so clever. You'll be able to do it, no problem. And then I've got one sentence for you to read and one sentence for you to write with some of the months of the year in. So does that sound good to you? And Seren is sat right next to me snoozing, so maybe if we get some treats out, she might come and join us. That'll be good, won't it? So let's first start with our tricky word sentences. Oh, she's up. No, sorry, no, that's that treat. There's a treat for you. Want to come and see Jenny? Right, this is our first sentence. It says, Can you read it? I, a gift for you. Okay, and these are your choices. So, can you write that sentence with the missing word? Is it this one that's missing? Is it this one that's missing? Is it this one that's missing? Okay, pause if you need a little bit more time. It was, of course. Have. I have a gift for you. Well done. You ready for the next one? Just got two more to do. So this next one. Here we go. This is our sentence. You, you want to play. I wonder what the missing word could be. So, which of these missing words goes in the sentence? Can you write down with the correct missing word in? Okay, pause if you need a little bit more time. It is the missing word said you said you want to play well done and last one oh itchy nose oh this one's a question
So the missing word is at the end of this question. It says, Can I have an ice lolly? Missing word. Should we see what the choices are? Which is the missing word? Can you write this sentence with the missing word? With the missing word in? It is the missing word. Can I have an ice lolly, please? That's our missing word, isn't it? Well done. Very good job. Right, we are going to move on now to spelling some of our months of the year. So all this week, we'll, we'll manage to do all of the months of the year, but we're just going to start with three of them today because um, so that we can really understand how they're spelt. Okay, so let's see if you can remember all of the months of the year there are 12 of them and they start with january okay so let's see if we can get 12 we have january february march april may june july and august September, October, November, December. And then after December, we got all the way back to January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Well done. Can you remember those by yourself without me saying them? Are you ready? Hmm, 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 Well done. One more time. See how quickly you can do it. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Wow, well done. Right, but don't worry, we're not going to write all of those today. We'll be here all day. We're going to start with January. It's a very special month because it's the start of the year. And in our country, it's often very cold in January, isn't it? Because January is still in winter. So, Let's have a look at how we spell January. Now, just like our days of the week, our months of the year all start with a capital letter. So, I wonder if you know how to do a capital J. I think that would probably be the first letter you learnt. Capital J for January and J for January. Jenny! So, we start off January with Jan. Can you write Jan with a capital J? J -a -n. J-A-N. Jan. J-A-N. Jan. Now, in January, the U sound is actually an O. Oh. So can you write Janu? Janu. Jan. You. Janu. And then we finish off with Ari. Uh, yeah. January. Jan. You, Ari. Can you see it? Jan, 
you. Ari, can you write January? Luckily, a lot of the time, we just write Jan for short. That makes it a bit easier. January. Well done. Okay, shall we have a go at writing February? Now, this one is a bit of a naughty one because it just doesn't make sense. So, we start off with a capital F. That's called an F. A capital F. And, oops, it looks like this. It's a pointier version of the one we do, isn't it? Now, February starts with the sounds Feb, Feb. Can you write Feb? Feb. Now, instead of like January, it's not February, it's Feb Ru Are. Februari, so after the b, we actually have a r, and our o uh, makes the u sound again. Februari. Can you remember how we wrote are on the end of January? We did an a, a r, and a y. Februari. Well done. That's a tricky one, isn't it? Then, last but not least, is March. Now, I think you'll be able to write March all by yourself. So, we need a capital M for March. So, it's a big pointy version of mazy mountain mountain. They're very pointy mountains, aren't they? M R C. Can you remember how we write the digraph R? R. M. R. Ch. How do we write ch? Ch. Like chick. A curly k and a h. March. M. R. Ch. March. Well done. Very good job. Shall we have another practice together? Let's write. Okay, rub your board out. And we're going to write January. Capital J. J. And Jan. What letter made that U sound in January? It was an U, uh, wasn't it? Jan, U. Then we have Ari. January. Now February was a bit different. We have a capital F. Feb. Can you remember how we wrote Feb? Feb. And it doesn't go U, it goes Ru. Feb Ru. Well done. Can you write February? And then, last one. I bet you can do this by yourself. Can you write March? I'll do it as well. Capital Maisie Mountain Mountain. March. March. Well done. January, February, March. Super job. Right, I'm going to write a sentence now for you to read. Then I've got a very little one for you to write. Just a teeny tiny one. So. Can you read my sentence? is Jenny's birthday in January. Well 
good. And last one. Can you write the sentence for me? Very short sentence. March is the start of spring. Can you write that sentence? March is the start of spring. I'll write it as well. March is the start of spring. Oh. Okay. Pause if you need a little bit more time. Here we go. March is the start of spring. Well done. Really good job. Thank you for joining me today, Jenny. Oh, I've disappeared. Thank you for joining me today. She's got a little beady eye open now. Very snoozy. That's her. Hello. She's awake. That's her little foot. <laughs> right, Jenny. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining us on the um, on the Skype. It was lovely to see your face and it was lovely to hear you chat to your friends. Looks like you had a really lovely time. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.